General Lady Yields, I now recognize Mr. Carson. You're up. Are you ready or you want to go ahead with somebody else? Okay. Recognize Mr. Garcia for his five minutes of testimony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just want to just uh, reiterate that. I think it's been said this very many times today by our, our uh, colleagues here um, on the House side, on the Democratic side, that we all know that this impeachment inquiry, this effort to try to impeach the Secretary, uh, is a complete political stunt and sham, and I just want to reiterate that. We all know it's a political ploy that's not grounded in the facts, truth, and has been conjured up for just one simple purpose, and that's to score cheap political points against the Biden administration. We also know that we've had articles from the New York Times and other publications just really laying out that this is all about uh, this pursuit of impeaching Mayorkas. Uh, it's about this kind of effort that's been started, quite frankly, by even a member of this committee uh, for many, many, many months. Um, that's all just in, really about hurting the president. Now, Professor Bowman, Republican leaders have been quoted promising donors that they would impeach Secretary Mayorkas in fundraisers back in April of 2023. Do you believe this committee has uncovered any evidence of high crimes or misdemeanors since that time? Not that I'm aware of. And thank you. And let's, let's be clear. What we're moving ahead with today is because extremists, including some folks uh, that are in this committee, have demanded it over and over again. Now, I want to give a couple of quotes from some members of the House. Uh, Congressman Andy Biggs told Newsmax that Republicans, quote, have nothing to campaign on. And he said that he was embarrassed by this. Now, Congressman Chip Roy has said, and I want to quote, I want my Republican colleagues to give me one thing, one that I can go to campaign on to say that we did, just one, end quote. And in fact, this last Monday, he went on TV to call the Republican conference, and I quote, a continued failure theater, end quote. So I understand that we're trying to throw red meat to an extremist base, but we're wasting the public's time and we know that the Senate will laugh off all of these charges. And let's remember the bigger picture. Some of my friends on the other side of the aisle don't want to really govern. They're not serious about solutions that could actually become law. And they're obstructing $14 billion in emergency supplemental funding. They voted against hiring hundreds of additional Border Patrol agents and of our ports of entry, and have opposed the incredible resources that we've tr been trying to send around technology, supporting organizations on the ground, support for Border Patrol agents, and many other types of funding. And I also want to remind the committee and the public that President Biden, on his first day in office, sent a comprehensive immigration plan to Congress, which Republicans have refused to act on. I also want to note that Secretary Mayorkas has continued to try to negotiate a bipartisan, sensible, and humane a, a humane approach to actually fixing our immigration system and trying to actually address the issues that remain along the border. Because Democrats agree there are issues and challenges along the border, and we want to see those fixed. Now, as an immigrant myself, I also have always believed this is a nation of immigrants. We should never forget that this country was based on so much hard work and labor of immigrants that now live all across this country. And our immigration system won't be fixed by this impeachment process, and it certainly won't be fixed by their proposal, which is HR2. And let's set the record straight about HR2. The bill would end Health and Human Services funding for legal representation of unaccompanied children in immigration proceedings. It, it would essentially send children to detention camps, and the bill subjects all unaccompanied children to an accelerated removal process as we know, in horrible conditions at these facilities that we have seen over the last few years. And quite frankly, we know this is not just a solution, not a solution, but it's inhumane and cruel to demonize some of the most vulnerable people that are coming to our country. We want to address the root causes of migration. We want to ensure that legal pathways are followed. We want to make sure that, that folks receive the support they need back in their home countries. And we certainly want, don't want to defund organizations like Catholic Charities that would rip away aid to communities and to migrants across, uh, across our country and along our border. The idea that our border problems, which have needed a bipartisan solution for decades, would be solved by HR2 is just not true. It's an anti-immigrant policy, and we should reject it. Thank you, and I yield back.